So my friends, this is the all new four movie theater. It's a brand new ultra short throw triple laser projector. It's absolutely packed full of features. With Dolby Vision and sound provided by the engineers of Bowers and Wilkins, this could be the best value projector this year. So in this video, we'll be covering the positives and looking at some of the negatives, if there are any, and we'll let you know what we think. Don't forget to hit the red button to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and click the notification bell to get my next video first. So thanks again to the team at 4Movie for sending across the theatre for review. They've not asked me to say anything good or bad about it, and all of the thoughts expressed will be my own. Right, in the box, it's quite simple with these type of projectors. You basically get the projector, the power cable, and a remote control, which, as you can see, is pretty basic. I do like the fact that it's got that YouTube button there, though, but the rest of it is very simple. It looks okay, and it feels nice in the hand, but I would have loved to have seen a backlit one. Okay, so the projector itself is quite a familiar form. I do like the fact that it's actually pretty simple. The one thing, again, I'm not a big fan of is the 4Movie logo on the front. I think that should be as subtle as the very stylish Boas and Wilkins sign. However, it's not really a big deal, and after a few moments, you don't notice it at all. On the back, you have your network cable point, optical audio, headphone port, two USB, and three HDMI ports. One of those covers HDMI arc also. The beauty with an ultra short throw projector is that it sits just a few centimeters from the wall and it can deliver incredible screen sizes right up to 150 inches. With the 4 movie theater, you manage to get an 80 inch screen from just 14 centimeters, a 120 inch screen from 33 centimeters and a whopping 150 inches from just 49 centimeters away from the wall. It is advisable to put the projector in the most accurate position possible so that you're only doing minimal tweaks when adjusting the four or eight point keystone correction. You also have the option to switch to fine tuning to get it even more accurate. Now, when it came to electronic focus, we found that the projector needed to be on for probably about five to 10 minutes before you went in to do this, because it just didn't seem to get sharp when the projector was cold. As soon as the lamp or the laser reached the right temperature, it was then pin sharp and was not a problem. Okay, this runs Android 11 TV, and so therefore it's as you would expect. It's got everything that Android 11 has. You've got the option for this to be ceiling mounted and rear projection as well. The menu settings on this projector are clear and unconfusing. It's very easy to operate and everything is as you would expect. There's lots of different options to go in and tweak the picture to your heart's content. And we found that the standard mode was actually the best and most accurate mode out of the box. Don't know why, I thought movie was just a little bit wishy-washy and some of the others were just, well, there wasn't much differences between them. But user or standard, once you've got the right picture, is definitely the way to go. The projector does support HDR10, and so therefore you've got that option available to you. And actually, we found both SDR and HDR pictures were pretty good right out of the box. If anything, maybe just dial back some of the blues, because again, as with many of these projectors, they seem to be aimed for a bright room, and so therefore the blue can be slightly boosted. Also included is modes like Auto Low Latency Mode, which you can turn on and off, and MEMC, which is Motion Estimate and Motion Compensation. This is where frames will be inserted to give you a smoother image. Now in Game Mode, all of these things are turned off to give you the fastest possible input lag, and that was measured at around 35 milliseconds. As with most other Android devices, everything else is pretty much the same and as you'd expect. Netflix is not supported natively with this projector. Obviously, they've not come to an arrangement with Netflix and so therefore you will need a third party device. There are some workarounds that you can do, but it's best just to use something like an Apple TV or a Amazon Fire Stick. Okay, what about daylight performance? Well, here you can see the blind reflection in the TV raising and this does surprisingly well. It's 2,800 lumens, so it is one of the brighter USB projectors that we've tested and I have to say it's quite impressive in a light room. As with any projector though when it's dark it works at its best but it doesn't need to be pitch black. This does great in an ambient room where there's lamps on for instance and so therefore don't think that you need to sit in a cave to get the best out of this. The contrast on this projector is really surprisingly good and therefore you get the perception of even better black levels. This is a room which has still got lots of light on and I found the picture to be exceptional. It was one of the best that we've seen for a long time. 
Before turning this projector on, I was really looking forward to listening to the sound of it, because with sound from Boas and Wilkins, I was hoping that this was going to be the best sounding projector that I've seen, because I always recommend getting sound bars. And guys, I do have to say, it's quite exceptional. There's two 15 watt speakers, but they sound absolutely amazing. So even at 50% volume, this thing is really loud, and it's almost uncomfortable if you go to 100% volume. I had a play with the 11 point white balance settings and that really did improve what seemed to be almost the depth of the picture. It created an incredible, just very almost like OLED type experience when in a dark room. And as you can see, some of these pictures which are filmed in exactly the same way as I film any of my ultra short throw projector videos, they just look a different level of good quality and I think it's because the blacks just suddenly look so much better. They're far more black and very less grey. Now with HDR performance, although it is good, it does darken the image slightly and so therefore because these projectors just cannot get bright enough to really see the full benefits of HDR, some of it is lost. However, you don't really notice it. You do get enthralled in whatever you're watching because you're keeping on looking around the screen thinking, this is incredible for an ultra short throw laser projector and it just feels a lot darker. What about gaming? Well, gamers out there, 34 millisecond input lag in game mode is not the greatest, but it's certainly very playable. I'm a big fan of big screen gaming, and I would definitely take that over it being slightly more responsive. Now, I know some competitive gamers out there are all about the input lag, and so therefore for them, as with any ultra short throw projector, this may not be for them. I absolutely loved it though. I thought driving games in particular on that huge screen from just a few feet away just is insanely good and so much fun. The full movie theater supports 4K gaming at 60p. Although the HDMI R2.1 ports, they don't support 4K at 120Hz, but that's not really an issue. And in some games like Ratchet and Clank here, the picture quality, as you can see from this example, is just insanely good. And so therefore I would say for gamers, you will enjoy this experience. It's not gonna be the fastest response times. However, you'll get wrapped up in that big screen and the vividness and beauty of the colors, as well as the exceptional sound will be great. There are some games, however, where the picture just doesn't seem to pop quite as much. I didn't think FIFA looked brilliant on this and also Dirt 5 seemed a little bit washed out. But if you've got something which is vivid, it's gonna be amazing. But overall, my friends, I am absolutely blown away with the quality of the image of this picture. Now, it does require some playing with to get those blacks looking as good as they did and to get the colors just a little bit more accurate. But once you've done that, you are gonna be blown away. And the sound is absolutely amazing. So this projector has just launched and it's available for order. The link will be in the description for you to check it out for yourself. But I would say at the price range that it will be, which is gonna be around $3,000, it's definitely fair value for money. The only things I don't like about this are very minor. The four movie sign on the front, the very basic remote control, and the fact that it does require a little bit of tweaking. But believe me, it's well worth it. This is a great product. The link is in the description, as I said. Thank you so much for watching this video. Any questions, just leave them below and I'll do my best to answer them.